Hi and welcome to another video. In this video I just wanted to go through how I um, factory reset uh, the uh, GTAX 11000. So what I've done as you can see on the top my firmware version I'm currently running the beta version um, and you have to do uh, special instructions for, for um, installing the beta firmware. Um, and it does advise that you do a factory default um, if you have any issues and things like that. And then sometimes I've seen in other people in the comments have had issues where their second 5G network isn't working. And my had, uh, router had the same issue. So um, you normally you would have the factory default, um, as you can see here, under advanced settings and administration. And then if you go to the restore, save, upload settings tab, you can see here factory default, and then you can basically restore. So you can click on initialize all the settings so that, that deletes everything. Um, and you can basically, you've got a few other options there, but you normally click the first one and then click restore. And then that will default, that will erase everything on the um, router um, back to uh, factory settings but the issue is that when I did that it still wasn't it still had the issue so I think one of the problems was is that I restored my um, where it says there the save settings I saved my settings previously and then when I after I factory defaulted um, everything I then restored the settings back and I think that will still cause one of the reasons why I was still getting the same issue but also um, there's another way to actually, as you have in the uh, ASUS website on one of the support uh, articles, it actually says there, instead of factory default using the restore button here, um, you use the actual button on the back of the um, device. Um, where you've got there, you've got like a, a pinhole where you can re push um, like a SIM eject tool or a pin into the back and hold it for 10 seconds and then you'll see all your lights flash and it'll re uh, store everything back to default set factory settings. I think that's a better way of doing it because that's how I solved my issues, but also um, how I didn't use the restore setting. I actually saved all my settings um, that I had. So for my, um, for my wireless, I took a screenshot of all the settings that I'd uh, customized and then also I um, saved in a text file just my Wi-Fi because I split my three networks so I have my 2G um, network SSID and the two 5Gs I've separated as well so I just uh, saved them in a text file and then so it made it easy when I came back to uh, restore everything I then used the um, just copy and paste it back in um, so I didn't, it didn't take too long to actually restore everything back. And after that, I've noticed that the uh, it actually is working much better. Um, and also, I'm not having the issue with the second 5G uh, uh, Wi-Fi network that used to disconnect a little bit on occasions. So um, as you can see here, um, I'm just a uh, quickly quick video to say that about how I did it. So as I'm saying here, um, you can, you don't use the factory default um, to restore here. Um, and so now I'll show you how to reset it on the back of the router and where it's located. So as you can see here, on the back of the router, you've got a pinhole and it says reset. So I just use this SIM eject tool and then I just hold in the button, you can feel it until 10 seconds um, and then you'll see all the lights flash on the front of the uh, on the router so as you can see now all the lights are, have flashed and now it's going through and rest uh, restarting and resetting everything back to factory default settings so once everything has been reset back to factory default um, you will then come to the usual screen here it's either through the app you're using um, on your mobile phone um, or tablet or if, like me I'm doing it through the browser um, so you will come to the uh, welcome screen so that means it's um, actually reset everything back 
and you, as you do have here two options creating a new network and advanced settings and as i said previously i've been using the um, upload so specify a file path to upload your original settings the issue i think i was um, what i've been reading up about is it reloads some of the um, probably corrupt what was causing some of the problems um, back into memory into um, the router so what is best to do and i know it's a bit more time consuming is go along and, and click create a new network and um, and as i said before i copy and pasted most of the information or screenshotted everything so it literally took me 10 minutes to um, set up the uh, router again and all my devices reconnected and as i said i've had um, no problem since i've done this um, factory reset and um, the uh, router's been working perfectly and i've been getting all both the 5g um, networks and the 2.4 uh, g network has been working perfect and that's running on the uh, current uh, beta um, version of the firmware that's got the security updates okay i hope you found this uh, useful and uh, thank you for watching and please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day